Minister, um, you've, you've been here in Croke Park today to see the, the testing facilities. What have been your, your impressions of it? So it's so peculiar being here in Croke Park for a testing uh, facility rather than a game, but my impression here is that such amazing work has been done in such a short space of time. Uh, our health service has had to build up an entire new testing infrastructure from nothing for a virus that you know is new to the world uh, in relative terms. And I think what you have here is a real good example of partnership of the GA working with the health service uh, to meet the needs of the Irish people. And I'm conscious, of course, that the GA's involvement doesn't stop here in Crow Park. Uh, that right across the country, so many clubs in all communities are involved in looking after each other. That Irish mehel, if you like, where people come together at a time of difficulty. People doing the groceries and checking in in a socially distant way and an older neighbour and walking the dog of somebody who's self-isolating and coming together, which I suppose is the very ethos of the GA. So whilst it's a weird <laughs> feeling to be here in a Crow Park like this, uh, I think it's a, a testament to the principles of the GA and um, that the organisation has really stepped up and played such a major role in our national effort to uh, beat this virus. Is, um, that mail you speak of and helping the most vulnerable in our communities, the work the GA clubs are doing, has that been particularly helpful for the HSC in terms of maybe taking the burden away in certain you know, non-emergency cases? Yeah, I mean, what we need to do here is make sure we can use our healthcare professionals uh, to do what they're trained to do, what they want to do, what they're really skilled at doing. But we also know that there are non-health things that need to be done. There's dogs that need to be walked, there's grasses that need to be cut, there's messages and prescriptions that need to be picked up. Um, there's older people who may not have a support network who need a friendly phone call to check in on them. And the fact that the GAA has stepped up in that regard with other community organisations right across the country uh, makes me very proud to be Irish. I think it should make every member of the GAA uh, very proud of their organisation. Um, it's really expanded the health service, if you like. It's grown the health family uh, and it's been key to, to our success. I mean, when I think of COVID-19, I really do think of Team Ireland. Um, everybody coming together, everybody playing their part, nothing being too much for anybody. And that has definitely been, I think it's been key to our success so far in suppressing the virus, but it's also been key to trying to keep us all going. Um, what is a very difficult time for people, but trying to motivate us and encouraging each other when you see those acts of kindness happening in towns and villages right across the country. In terms of keeping a positive mental attitude, I'm sure you'd love to be back here again in a yeah. different setting. <laughs> yeah, look, I think we're all looking forward to the resumption of sport. Um, there's so many great days out here every year, but also at pitches up and down the length and breadth of the country. Of course, we have to do it in a way that's safe. Um, so we want to see the gradual return to sport. We don't want to see the restrictions in place for one moment longer than they need to be. Um, but we have to follow the evidence. We have to listen to the public health doctors um, because at the end of the day, it's about saving lives. But we want people back playing sport as, as quickly as is possible and, and as soon as it's safe to do so. How helpful has it been that that message that you're speaking about has been you know, re-echoed by the GA and clubs around the country to their members? Oh, it's been so helpful. I mean, the GA has such a reach into every town, every village, every parish uh, across the country. It can do what we can't do. Uh, it can very easily mobilise uh, an army of volunteers, um, but also a network of information. I'm sure there's WhatsApp groups in, in clubs right across the country pinging with messages of what the needs of the people in their local town and village uh, are. And I've seen this uh, and I've heard of these examples as well. So to be able to tap into the network uh, that is the GAA and to really mobilise that GAA army uh, for the good of Team Ireland has, has been invaluable.